Kathy Baldwin and this is my home. It's a Morton building um, that we have attached to the barn, which is also a Morton building. And we are in uh, Tomball, Texas. Before we went to Morton, we knew we wanted to downsize from a little house that was uh, much too large for us, and we knew we wanted the horses. So my husband decided, well, why can't we just attach the building, the, the barn, to the house? Um, and we knew fairly well that we wouldn't, didn't want more than about two or three bedrooms. That's, that's all we needed. So we ended up meeting with the um, Morton people, and they came up with a plan, and then we actually got an architect who decided that we should have, uh, we should use the upstairs, since the ceiling was so high that would be wasted space, so we put a loft in. So we have an office and one extra bedroom and a half bath and a full bath upstairs. We had an exceptional crew. I think they worked really hard. They listened to every concern. They were able to change things around if we needed to, to move a room or move a beam to fit something else. Um, I was, we were really impressed with the crew. They were really good. Well, the garage has shelves put in it and benches where I keep bird seed and, and then num numerous other things. There are a number of drawers and cabinets up on top. It's quite large. The barn you can actually drive through. And the floor, the alleyway of the barn has been indented and then we've had rubber mats so the horses are not actually touching the concrete. They're always on rubber. I should have done that in the wash rack as well, but I do have rubber flooring in there, and very large drain. It's just an exceptionally functional and very nice looking airy barn. And as you enter the barn, there's a door to the left, and that is my office slash tack room. And people are coming and going in and out of there constantly, but we do have a fire door that we can close the rest of the house off. When you walk through my tack room into the rest of the house, you have a small hallway with a powder room off to the right and a very large laundry room off to the left. And then you enter the house and it's the ceiling just goes straight up if you can imagine how high a barn usually is. So it has a very airy feeling to it. It's all open with a few arches um, that designate another part of the room kitchen and the TV room and the uh, living room are all one really big room with several divider dividing arches. Um, people are amazed at the at the space and then of course the ceiling is all wood and they had to bring in a very large beam to put in through the center of the ceiling was it length, lengthwise through the house and that's encased in wood so it gives it a, a really rich look. The upstairs, which is the loft, is really cool and one end is my husband's office and a bathroom and his little eyebrow. It's just a little porch, an overhang where he can sit and look out into the yard or into the woods and sit and think whatever he wants to do. He has a, a large um, sliding glass door that goes out onto that, that eyebrow. We have a very large um, guest bedroom, with two beds, and then the hallway to the extra bedroom behind the wall is where all of the air conditioning equipment, the waterless tank, um, just an attic, which is quite large. The porch is uh, the entire length of the house on the actual front of the house. Um, it's large enough to entertain. We have table and chairs at one end, and then we have relaxing uh, rocking chairs at the other end. So if we want to sit outside, we can, and we can sit and look at the horses in the pasture or watch the trees. It's just a very a peaceful look and, and just a very nice setup. We have stone columns and then crepe myrtles on either end, so, and lots of roses. The other building is a, a shed. We keep a large tractor and a bush hog. Um, two other small tractors, a gator, and one is a work area for my husband, and then one of one section 
is for hay storage and shavings. We get tremendous usage out of that building you know, for storage. I would definitely recommend Morton to friends that I have. And there are two or three other families who, who have, uh, are thinking about it and giving it definite consideration. Um, we have some other friends who have a barn and wanted someone to work on it and they chose Morton to do their additions. We're definitely happy with this place. We comment all the time how much we love it. Um, when we look out into, we have some 12 acre pastures, and look out into the pastures and see the trees, and the roses, the birds. We've had foxes, we've had coyotes. It's just what we need, what we wanted.